If you have been looking to create a sales funnel and you're not sure what products to include in your funnel, well then you're in for a treat because today we're gonna to be walking through how to create your value ladder so that you can properly set up your funnel in no time. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Hey there, Corporate Misfits, Brittany Darrington here, and welcome to the Corporate Misfit Club channel, where we help female coaches, course creators, and consultants to build a freedom-bound business sharing their expertise. Now, before we dive into today's topic, I want you to go ahead and check out the five funnels that every course creator needs. It walks you through some of the funnels that you can utilize in your business to help you generate consistent revenue. Now, if you like today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button. Now, let's talk all about value ladders because a lot of people have no clue what a value ladder is and they don't know how it can actually play a major role in your sales funnel. Now without a value ladder, you're going to find yourself wondering, what do I include in my sales funnel? What are the products I'm going to showcase? What do I start with? What do I end with? And so with a value ladder, you're going to be able to properly identify exactly what needs to be in your funnel. It will help you to know what assets to create. It will help you to know what products to pull from your inventory and so much more. The first thing I want to break down before we go into behind the scenes of what a value ladder looks like, you might be wondering what the heck is a value ladder? So a value ladder is in entrepreneurship and marketing. A value ladder is a systematic outline of a business products, services, or offers, which ascend up the ladder in both value and cost. A value ladder or a sales ladder is a tactic you can use to help ease a customer into your final offer. Value ladders tend to start with something small and easy to sell like free offers to build initial trust and get your prospects interested in your brand. Okay, so now let's go behind the scenes on how you can build your value ladder, how you can set this up properly and you can know exactly what to include in your upcoming sales funnel. So before we can even build your sales funnel, it's important that we build your ladder first because it will help you to properly understand what should be an order bump, a lead magnet, a upsell, and your actual product that you're gonna focus on. It will just help you to know what should go with what. So here is a value ladder. I love to keep my value ladder anywhere from four to five ladders. This just helps me to be able to understand what is the path that my customer will go on in order to see the results and the transformation that they're needing within the stage and where they're at. So one of the things that you might do is you might start off with a free offer to get them into your actual value ladder, into your funnel. Now that freebie is something where you're providing a ton of value it's where you are helping your customers to showcase their interest in what you're talking about. And eventually you are going to lead them to something called an intro offer. Now an intro offer, I like to look at this as a way for people to be able to get access to your tripwire, your order bump, your upsell. This is usually an intro offer. And if for any reason, you were to have someone go through your lead magnet, they're going to be introduced to that intro offer. So after that intro offer, the order bump, the tripwire, the upsell that they may experience, the next thing might be to send them to your signature offer, your lead offer, whatever you choose to call it, but it could be your signature offer. And in this area, this is where you are going to have your signature program that has multiple modules, or you're going to have your course that is in depth or a membership that's more in depth. Maybe whatever your lead offer is going to be your signature program. That is where you're most likely going to offer it within this lead offer area. So you start off with free, then we go to intro products where it's an introduction and helps your customers to gain more insight on what they can do to overcome their pain points and see transformation. And then eventually be able to want to buy your membership, your coaching program, your course, or whatever that may be. 
Now I like to look at the bulls I offer is you might be presenting a high ticket price offer. So this might be a coaching program, a mastermind. This could even be a live event. This is where they already like, they trust you. They want to buy from you. They've gone through either a discovery call in the free offer stage, or they've purchased one of your intro offers, or they purchased one of your lead offers or your signature programs. And now they want to take things a step further and they want to come to a live event, join your mastermind, be a part of your one-to-one -one coaching, or be a part of things that might be higher ticket. And now they have gone through the value ladder that allows them to be able to get more results for their transformation journey that they are looking to have that they are experiencing with their pain points. So when you're building out your value ladder, I want you to ask yourself, where do you want your customer to start when they come to this free offer? Do you want them to start with a lead magnet, a webinar, a challenge? What can you do? What can help lead them up to an intro offer? Now, please note, you don't have to go in order. Some people like to go straight up the line, like what we have going on here. And then some like to skip around. So you might start off with the offer, then you go to lead offer, and then you go straight to the bullseye. You don't have to go in order. And that's perfectly fine. Sometimes, when we're going up the stairs in, in real life, whether we're going up a, a staircase in our house or a staircase outside or uh, an escalator, whatever it may be, sometimes we skip some steps. Sometimes we hop over a step. And so that might happen for your customer, which is perfectly fine, just as long as you're aware of that so that then you are not trying to send everyone to an intro offer when they might be ready to go straight to the lead offer or go to the bullseye offer. So just keep that in mind. Okay, now let's go ahead and go a little bit deeper because I want you to start building out your value ladder. So every coaching or course creation business is different and you may find that your audience needs more value ladder steps than others. So as I mentioned, I like to have anywhere from four to five value steps, but your value steps might be anywhere from five to 10. I have some customers, they have so many touch points and so many different types of products in their business that they have around seven. And I want you to know that whatever that may be for you, it might look different than what you're seeing here. Okay, Corporate Misfit, there you have it. We have created our value ladder. So now I want you to take this and go implement this into your sales funnel strategy. I want you to think about what's your free product going to be, your low tier product, maybe your signature and your high tier product. Think about all those different options so that you can properly build a funnel that's going to help you to generate revenue, also help your customers to go down the journey of getting over the pain points that they're currently experiencing and so much more. And don't forget to download the five funnels that every course creator needs. And let me know in the comment section below if you already have a value ladder and how it's working for you, or if you're looking to create one, what are some of the things that you want to include in your value ladder? Okay, I'll see you soon. Hey there, Corporate Misfits. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. Go ahead and hit subscribe so you can be notified of some of our upcoming videos.